Hi YouTube. Okay, uh, back here at my chimney wall. Let's get into it. Uh, what not to do when making a climbing anchor. Um, I put my two pieces in. Uh, let's just pretend these are two bolts. Um, you're at your local sport climbing crag and um, you have two bolts, single pitch stuff. Um, what not to do. Okay, so this is a um, this is a big one. Uh, the American Death Triangle. If you don't already know what this is, then this is good. Let's just get this out of the way. Um, do never make the American Death Triangle. <clears throat> this is the American Death Triangle, right here. Okay, um, that's the American Death Triangle. Um, this should not be here. Um, this, what this does is when you pull the um, pull on the uh, the anchor, this because this is here like this, it's going to pull these two bolts pressures and squeeze them together, and that's that's no good. So uh, you don't want the American Death Triangle at all. Uh, what you do is you would pull, you know, the sling down, and then that way the vector forces are going towards the master point and not squeezing the two um, pieces together, uh, protection pieces together. So um, that's one thing you don't want to do. Okay, um, and what I want to touch on now is um, something that I've seen at my local crag a um, couple times, and I'm really not happy with it. Um, what it is is um, the using a single length sling, this is a single length sling, and making the magic X, this is the magic X, if you don't know what that is, here's the X right here, um, and just using one sling to make the anchor system, uh, they would um, they they would make the anchor system like this, um, and they call it good. The problem with this is the sling is not redundant. The sling is, if this sling were to break, there's nothing backing it up. So then there would be, the sling breaks, there would be catastrophic failure. So but going back to Serene, is it redundant? It's not redundant, the sling is not redundant. So I'm not okay with this. Uh, what you can do to um, make this anchor better and um, it, more acceptable um, is um, doubling up your slings. So here I got another single length sling. So um, let's put this here. And put this here. Okay, now you have twice the slings. Okay, and um, make the magic X again. Now I'm actually okay with this. Okay, so let's just say it's strong. Um, it is now redundant. Uh, if one sling were, let's not talk about the carabiner, we'll get into this. Um, other than the carabiner aspect, what's in here? Um, this, uh, the sling, if it were to break, um, one of them, then there would be another sling. If a piece were to blow, then uh, you would, then um, you know there would, it would not be a catastrophic failure. Uh, what this does not hold up to is the non-extending requirement, because if there was a piece to blow, then um, you would have all this extension that would occur, and then um, all that shock would impact onto the other piece. So um, that doesn't meet the requirement of serene, but it's a good, um, it's a really, it, this is. I don't like to make this anchor, but um, it's I, I would climb on it. Um, so that's um, that's how you would make um, that acceptable. Now, what I also don't like seeing is when the, at the master point, when they would also they um, when I would go to my local crag, I would also see this just one locking carabiner for the master point, and then the rope would be. Um, just like going through one carabiner, and then they would call that good, and that's not good because if this carabiner were were to break, then this um, it would be catastrophic failure. You only have one carabiner um, in your in at this part of the system, and you're sawing through this. You know, let's say um, like. I mean, like, you're sawing through this carabiner on top rope, so this is not an acceptable anchor to me. Um, what, I what I require um, out of anchors is for at least two carabiners. I would say um, I'm, I'm a big proponent of not having lockers on the master point. I think, um, I think opposite opposed is, uh, is, is just fine. Um, is better actually um, because when you're uh, if let's say um, someone were to pull out the rope 
then um, you know if they wanted to lead it instead of top rope it, then when they come up, they don't have to unscrew some some lockers here. They can just clip in and then um, and then you know clip in and then they're done. So I'm not a real big um, proponent of of lockers here. If you're going to have, if you absolutely have to have a locker at the master point, um, I would say having one locker and one non-locker is better. That way, when if somebody else wants to lead it, then um, you can you can have the lock one locker, but you can have one non-locker so that they can become safe as you know instantly, and then put the rope in the next one. Um, again, having one locker here is not acceptable for an anchor system. Um, always have at least two. I say at least because let's say a scenario, I'll be using the scenario um, in future videos, I think is the Boy Scout scenario where you're going to be on a climb all day long. Lots of people are gonna be climbing on it. You're going to be sawing through the carabiners on top of all day. And, um, and in that situation, um, you might even put three carabiners uh, that way you have even more metal to be able to saw through before anything you know were to happen. So um, that's my take on what not to do. And one last point I want to make about climbing anchors um, for um, and by argument against using just one locking carabiner at your master point to top rope off of is uh, people sometimes argue like, um, well, your rope is um, you know not redundant and your belay carabiner is not redundant well your rope not being redundant um we're, we here in america don't use half ropes so uh there's nothing we can do about that um unless we go to half ropes which i don't see that being um happening anytime soon and the um and the argument that we well we want to use one belay carabiner when we're belaying well when we're belaying we're not having the rope um at no point un until we're lowering do we have any um tension on um, on the carabiner while we're you know pulling rope through like if you're top roping um, there's slack and you're just pulling slack through your carabiner um, or if they're leading you know there's a there's a bunch of slack and you're just you know feeding out rope it's always at a slack um, tension and the only time that there's um, and then if somebody falls then you break it and there's no sawing of the rope through the carabiner um the only time that you're sawing through the carabiner is when you know they're ready to be lowered and you're lowering them at a very slow uh, regulated speed not wearing through um your carabiner um at an un you know you don't know how much you're going to be wearing through it through top rope but you can predict hey i'm good for another lower you know on the on my belay carabiner you can see how much metal is there you know if you're questioning it retire it so thanks for watching and up by our dudes um like subscribe do whatever you want and um, i'll catch you guys later thanks bye